Here we are again with another anime reaction, and this time, The Male in Gold, episode one. So yeah, uh, it's a seasonal anime, and it catched my interest, for obvious reasons. <laughs> and so yeah, I want to check it out and see how it, how it is, if it's good, if it's bad, and I most likely think it will be good. I think I will enjoy it. But yeah, I would say without further ado, let's get right into the episode. Okay. Oh, hello. Uh huh. That's what I signed up for. Let's go. I'm with you, man. I'm 100% on board. Zero points. Perfect score in all others. <laughs> oh, he cannot make a contract with a familiar. This reminds me of Naruto, where he can't do the Shadow Clone Jutsu. He can't summon anything? Damn. Not even a beetle? He looks good. Okay, so he's not like a natural talent. That he's like just really good and just fails at this one subject. He worked for it. <laughs> not even beetles, god damn it. What else can you summon that is like inferior? Weird or unique? Maybe a waifu? That could be weird and unique, right? Huh? Huh? <laughs> he took the book with him without knowing what it is, and then he's like, oh, it's a summoning book, perfect. <laughs> okay. I don't know what it does, but let's do it. What could go wrong, right? <laughs> summoning Jutsu. <laughs> And we know already who it is. God damn! <laughs> Man, this lucky bastard. He summoned her without clothes. That gives bonus points. <laughs> oh, she likes it. She likes the tease. Oh my god. This lucky bastard. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't expect him to say that. Oh? By kissing? Are there other ways that are maybe more potent to, to get mana from him? Hmm? Hmm? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! Dude, we are like... What, seven minutes in? Oh, he has nothing to fit. Coincidence! He planned it all along, this little bastard. Summoning a wife with the was his plan all along. That's why he brought his sister's clothes. <clears throat> oh, that's why he didn't get some. Too potent. Lethal as poison? Good for him. Naughty woman. <laughs> oh, she can break it? Oh. <laughs> hey, yeah, good to know. <laughs> hey, you summoned me. I could have killed you. And it can break the contract at any point. Let me guess something naughty. She likes to tease. Of course! <laughs> I wonder if that's true or if she's just teasing him. <laughs> Unbelievable, but it's true. Deadass. 
Oh my god, he isn't believing him. <laughs> Let me guess, he's like, can I see it again? I have to make sure that it's really familiar. Damn, dude. What a bombshell. Like, literally. Holy hell. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the reverse Uno card. When others can do it, we should be able to do it too, right? Oh, she got him double. Give me some of the thick, potent stuff on inside of you. Dude, that sounds so wrong. I love it. <laughs> and you shot, okay, all right, good. Average mages. What's with not so average mages? It's time to do 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 well. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, here we go. And she's like, yeah, she likes it. Do whatever he wants. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm getting teary eyes from all the laughing. <laughs> this is some good shit. Oh, look, it's a duel. They don't have to go there and, and check it out. They can just see it from everywhere. everywhere. Oh, damn. She has a real familiar, not some beetle shit. High class wind spirit at her age. So it's the good stuff. But she is serious. If he dies, well, I won anyway. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a big one. Not bad. Not some wimpy magic here, it's some big stuff. And she's like unfazed. The booba protected her. It just bounces right off. <laughs> nice view. <laughs> oh, I like that look. I like that look. <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> Oh my god, she's... She's done. She has naughty, naughty fantasies. Of course. I wonder how she feels about it. If she's like, happy about it because she's a demon and she was like... And she was like sealed away for so long that it's maybe nice to have like people don't see her as a bad demon. <laughs> yeah, what could that mean? No one knows. She wants good stuff. I wouldn't say no. I would be like, yep, let's go. <laughs> Whenever you want. Oh, she is weak and she just defeated this high class spirit. Familiar. So she kind of needs him because I think she... Others that don't have this potent stuff wouldn't be enough. 
but I don't think that she dislikes it to be reliant on him for the good stuff. <laughs> of course, there is always a better way, and a better, more naughty way to do it. Yeah, this was episode one of the Mail and Gold, and man, it's it's everything I thought it would be, everything I hoped it would be, and it was even more. I very much liked it. I I think it's funny. It's basically funny, and so yeah, I it's great. I want to see where this is going. I, I feel like this has some good potential to see where it's going. Um, but I mean, technically, I could also see that it might get a bit repetitive, maybe. But I don't think so. I think it has good potential to be something really funny and enjoyable. And yeah, I mean, there wasn't... I, I feel like there isn't much to talk about, right? It's basically just that... He failed. He's like basically, um, he's not like a natural talent, right? He's ju he just worked hard to get in the school, worked hard to get good grades, but just failed at this one subject, which was summoning a familiar because how he found out, um, his manner is too potent. So, I mean, you could maybe say he is a, like, he is talented. He is a prodigy. Because he has potent mana, which I think is like very much needed to be a good mage, right? Um, so I guess maybe you could say he's like a prodigy or like very talented. <clears throat> it's just that he didn't, he couldn't summon the right familiar because they are all too weak because his mana is too potent. But still, he said he worked hard to get into the school and worked hard to get good grades. So it's not completely that it all falls into his lab and done no he it seems like he has to work for it but now he got this overpowered demon that makes maybe things easier and we also saw like his i guess childhood friend that likes him but he's like oblivious to it and so i guess there will be like a double romance maybe like maybe not a double romance like harem wise but like i guess alto is maybe more interested in the male it seems like he likes her um even if he's like a bit shy, obviously. Um, and, and he's oblivious to his childhood friend, uh, to her feelings, but she's interested in him. I don't think that there will be, I don't think that those two will work out in a relationship, I guess. I guess it will be more like between the male and Alto, which I don't have a problem with. I, because, I mean, I like the male, so that's good. Um, but yeah, so far, like I said, good episode. I enjoyed it very much, and I can't wait to see where the rest is going. But yeah, also, um, like we found out later in the episode, um, not later, I think it was more like the middle part, um, I think it was towards the end, yeah, it was the end, um, but yeah, also interesting that the male could break the contract and just kill him, or, and she could have killed him right away. But I guess she isn't that type of demon that is like evil or something because then she would have done it, I guess. But she's also like, from what she said, she's, you can assume that she's like reliant on him because she needs this pot, uh, this potent mana that's need, uh, that she needs to suck out of him because she is weak from being uh, sealed away for so, uh, such a long time. So she needs the good stuff and normal humans can't summon her. So that's not a way for her to get out. And normal people would just like implode or explode from the inside or just get completely drained of all the mana and then they would die anyway. So she basically needs him. He is like basically a all he's basically an all you can eat buffet <laughs> for her with the potent good stuff for free. So I guess she's like reliant on him because I guess finding another one that could like that finding another person that has like potent mana that could be that you could suck out of someone to to like get a power back is maybe more like a rare occurrence so yeah she's reliant on him basically he's reliant on her because otherwise he fails the subject and can't progress into the next semester so but i mean they are reliant on each other but it's not like they are forced it's not like they dislike each other each other they like each other which you can already tell and so yeah i like it i can't wait to see where it's going from here and yeah that's 
episode one of the mail and gold and i can't wait for episode two so yeah thanks for watching i really appreciate it and until next time bye bye